What is going on, everyone? Comment or last today. Bring to you guys my live reaction to Kaguya-sama Love is War Manga Chapter 251. Now, the chapter is out. We are here today to read the latest installment in Akaka Saka's masterpiece. Of course, it is a Thursday morning. The perfect time, too, because if it came out a few more hours later, I would have been stuck at work all day, and I wouldn't be able to read it until night. But at the very least, I have something to look forward to, hope, whether it's good or bad, in terms of what's about to happen and stuff, at least while I'm at work. So, <sighs> greatness is here, man. Coming off the back of last week's chapter, because let me just say, if we get the Roman chapter eventually, right? If it's going to be this week or next week, which I doubt this week because of what happened at the end of the last chapter. But if we were to get it at some point in this final arc, whatever the next Roman chapter is going to be, perfectly fine with it, okay? Because Chica absolutely deserved it, okay? She might have invented 6D chess. Who knows? Because she pulled up. She might have had some trolling in there still, which is true to her character, but she came in with the brain, she came in with the knowledge, and the game plan, potentially, of how we're going to save Kaguya. I mean, utilizing the likes of Unyo to topple over Oko and have him at the top, which would help out get Kaguya away. Because obviously, we're trying to get her to the top, and it's going to be tough to do so because of all the other factors in. And of course, Miyuki, considering the fact that there's a chance, very minimal chance, Kaguya might not even be related to them based on some stuff but at the very least if we use Unio to topple over Oko and get to the top it would kind of save Kaguya right there and I do love the internal struggle that Hayasaka has with all this because of the fact that she's only seen the bad side of the Shinomiya family specifically with the likes of Oko and Unio but Chika was spitting because at the very least we may only see the bad but you have to remember how did Kaguya get here how did she get to Shuichin Academy how did she get to Tokyo on that is because of Unio and could be out of malice, could have been out of, you know, trying to utilize her for his own schemes, possibly. But at the very least, he does love her like a sister. And how much, how much, I think, like, it depends, right? How much you want to believe, how much you want to. But I do think we're due for his redemption arc. And it's going to be interesting to see, like, how Hayasaka kind of deals with all that, given what she had to go through, especially back uh, during class trip. But now, the game plan might be in motion. But Maki has arrived. How are the Shijos going to be involved in this? I'm hoping she does not have a wire on her. I hope she's not been bugged. I hope nothing regarding the Shijo family. Like right here, Maki's here for one volition. Like we know she has a close relationship now with Kaguya. How much it's developed since where it was back then to what it is now. Closer to being like actually, you know, sisters-in-law kind of thing, you know, feeling. But we're going to have to see what's happening here, man. So without further ado, enough talking. Let's get into the chapter. Let's see what Aka Akasaka is cooking with, man. So, chapter 251. Here we go. Alright. Shijo. A key figure appears. And the... I don't like the title of this chapter. But I'm, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot. Because I was hoping it was gonna say... Maki Shijo wants to protect, but that thing there says Mikado Shijo wants to protect. Oh, God. Ay, 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 ay. I, right now, I'm definitely, you know, in the corner holding the arm. I'm just like, I, just want, ah, I guess I might have read the title. That's, that's how I'm, I'm feeling. I know all of the specifics of what's going on between both our families. And I can influence the Shijo's family's executives to a certain extent. I think I'd be a pretty useful asset to have on your team, don't you? Yeah, that'd be a big, that'd be a huge help. But are you sure about this? Aren't the Shijo family and Shinomiya family enemies? Yeah, but we know, obviously, like with Maki and Kaguya, now it's not really the case anymore. Like, for her, it's a, it's a whole different thing, because that's exactly why I'm here. As the eldest daughter of the Shijo family, I have a duty to bring the war between our families to an end. Sure, that's what that sure that's what you say. But in reality, you just want to find a way to help Shido be a senpai too, don't you? Yo, Ishi got me already going into the truth. You put up the shield, let me tell you right now, my man's going through the cracks here, he knows your game plan. And she might get hit with the ha. You might hit me with the ha right now, but we definitely know what's up. Alright? Were you even listening to me? The feud between our families pose quite a problem for the Shijos as well. While it may be true that the Shijo family doesn't exactly appreciate the Shinomiya family, the current situation is the result of a few extremist factions running wild. With nothing keeping their hatred in check, the problem is going to end up snowballing out of control. 
If this keeps escalating, both of our families will collapse. So I have to do something to prevent it from reaching that point. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's something like that. Um, probably is. And Maki just, <laughs> what's up that reaction? I'm being serious here. As a Shijo, I'm just trying to ensure the stability of our family's future. Whatever happens to Kaga doesn't concern me at all. Understand? <laughs> yeah, 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 really? Are you sure? Oh, <laughs> uh, the things are kicking up, man. This will be a lot easier if you just be honest with yourself, you know. Just admit that you want to help your beloved Kaguya. He's like, huh? I don't love her at all. Oh, come on. It's totally obvious that you do. No, I don't. Yes, I do, yo. Yo, yo. You should got me just like, bro, just, just stop it. Just stop with the nonsense. Stop putting the bluffers out, man. Just, yo, be honest with yourself. Yes, you do. Okay, I do. <laughs> Yo, man, you should got me top one instigator, bro. But even then again, bro, if you're trying to get the truth out of somebody, you want to play some L.A. Noir, you want to try and get some cases cracked down, I'm telling you at the moment, you want to hire a detective, Yui Shigami is on the case, man. Look at my guy. <laughs> he, like, he has her blushing and everything. Like, okay, I do. No need to look so smug about it. Nah, man, listen, I need all that text. I need the bubbles out. I want to, I need that as an avi right there. I need that as an avi. Hit with the thumbs up and smile. I need that as an avi, bro. <laughs> I really do love Kaguya, but there's nothing I can do to help her right now. It's just not fair. <laughs> she finally managed to get together with a person she loves, only for her family to tear them apart for some stupid political marriage. Isn't it only natural for me to want to do something to help? God, you're such a good person. I seriously hope you find happiness one day. I mean, that's facts, though. I mean, like, for the, for the most part, for most characters in this series, I hope... They find their thing. Like, with Nagisa Tsubasa, especially. Like, I need them to be fine. Even though I know with Maki, it's like... But, yeah, Ma Maki, she needs to find her person. And uh, I'm definitely in agreement there with my boy Shigami on that stance. So, how do you want to go about saving Kaguya's son? Did you have something in mind? Not really. Honestly, Fujiwara's idea sounded pretty good to me. Getting father to do all the talking would definitely be the easiest way. To tell you the truth... There really isn't much I can do right now. The one who's actually been working to make a difference would be him. And it's Mikado. Now, I'm still factoring the phone call from the tea party. Like, you have to really convince me here, man, that he's not doing something out of his own, from for his own volition, for his own schemes. Like, him... Miyuki, you know who I'm talking about, right? The one they're planning to marry, Ka marry Kaguya off to, India. Oh, Jesus Christ. Your younger brother, Mikado Shijo, right? And you see, you see Chico with the fade, like, oh, like, yo, exactly. Uh, I'm, I don't know how more self-contained than I would be now, but I think it's because of the fact that I'm, I'm, I'm given the opportunity for Akasaka to convince me Mikado might not be what I'm perceiving to be because of what he's written in the story. So maybe there's something else there, but I'm keeping myself in check. For the longest time, my brother's been trying to find his own way to protect Kaguya from the Shinomiyas. Is there something in the past that I don't know about? Because we seen Maki when she was with Kaguya back then. Okay, all right, Akasaka. I'm, 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 I'm paying attention a little bit more. My brother's been trying to find his own way to protect Kaguya from the Shinomiyas. I'm not sure what happened between those two when they were younger, but for the past 10 years, he's been steadily making preparations for this situation. If he saw this coming a mile away, because you have to remember too, the Shinomi and, and Shijo families have that connection and everything, right? So it's like, unless he was fully aware of a situation like this, like this was going to end up happening, then maybe, see, then in that case, it's uh, then it flips my, my understanding of his character a little bit better. Okay. On top of making a name for himself in both academic and sports, because I remember he was a football merchant. Sorry, thanks to your guidance, and managed to rank number one in the nation. Are you serious? Executive <laughs> number one. 
guess what? My soccer team just won the national high school championship. Okay, you know what, man? Look, if 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 somehow, somehow, by the grace of God, Mikado ends up not being it up, I may have to put a tinge respect because he's a football fan. He's also won over the various executives of the Shijo uh, group, which I mean, it makes sense to be, for him to be able to pull whatever he needs off. He has to have a lot of backing too. Between my father, the rest of the family, and all the other executives, all of them firmly believe that Mikado should be the next head of the family. Yeah, and if you go by actual like um, by royalty or like just how most like families of this kind of like uh, setup is kind of worked around is usually the male will be the one to run the family unless it depends on like i guess the um, the hierarchy of the birth order and all that but even then for Machia, it would be tough uh to hold the reins honestly he's been an expert at playing politics <laughs> you look at how agitated she is when she says that <laughs> i guess you could call that a talent in its own right but that's exactly how Oh, this is like this is Shanks and Whitebeard, Kaguya version. But I I, I don't want to give either those type those two, those titles and those names. Oh my! I see a sake bottle. I'm thinking to myself maybe he's talking to his pops, but no, bro. I see bald man. Oh no! What are we doing here, man? Ah, uh, Mikado, I'm giving you the decimal, bro. You better you better convince me. You better convince me right now, man. He managed to smooth talk his way into the inner circle of the Shinomiya's too. So right here, yeah, he's having that conversation now with. Uh, but wait, he's not drinking up, is he? That's gotta be orange juice. <laughs> it's gotta, bro. That's that's gotta wildly be out here drinking all that. Oh, the Shijo family makes me sick. Always prattling on about their morals and ethics. Like, come on, you obviously, come on, obviously you should put the interests of your company first. Family should always come first. You have no right to say that stuff because we know you don't really give a damn about the family. You're in for your self-interest. That's the whole difference between this, all right? You don't give a damn about what happens to Kaguya or what happens to anyone else in it. As long as you prosper, that's all you care about. And by that virtue, we're not letting it happen. Like, bald people are not allowed to succeed. I'm telling you right now, they cannot. The fine definition of that is him. He cannot prosper. But you know what, kid? I like, oh, yeah, the soda. <laughs> he has a soda. Okay. I was about to say, that'd be so wild, bro. Because if, nah, if he was drinking up sake, then he had to be an antagonist. But no, he's drinking up a Coke, uh, Cola and stuff. But you know what, kid? I like you. Yeah, to be honest, I think there's something wrong with the Shijos, too. They're all so stuck living in the past. They can't see the potential of the future. Exactly, exactly. How long do they keep plan? Do, how long do they plan to keep bringing up the past? They picked a fight and lost. It's about time they sucked it up and grew a pair and paid their preparations. And yo, he he does not yo. Even if he's saying what he said earlier, you can tell it's bugging him. He doesn't. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah. Mikado. That, okay, he might have an, uh, a a plan for sure, but it's definitely not in conjunction with these two. So. The decimal is starting to grow in number right now that he might not be might not be bad. And of course you see the other brother there and stuff. Well. I'm about to hit him with the well. There's nothing I can do about how they feel. They just want some kind of victory over the Shinomiyas. In other words, as long as they can get their hands on some kind of trophy, I'm sure they'd be willing to back down. A trophy, huh? You mean Kaguya. See, this is why I can't respect Oko. You see, he looks at, he uses her as an object, view her as an object, as a material, not as a living being. Like, exactly. The Shijos are a sentimental lot. If they can get Kaguya san as a hostage, then I'm sure they'll act this as. In fact, I'll see to it myself. But are you really okay with that? Kagi is a different, a difficult girl. You really okay with selling for her? I uh, don't see that. She's cute in her own way. Ever since the first day, ever since the day we first met, I've taken quite a liking to her. 
the day you first met. Yeah, we met at a party back when we were still kids. In fact, we used to text each other quite a lot back in the day. So yes, yeah, he's definitely captain. Now he yeah, is definitely captain. So how, are they going to be smart enough to read into the lies? Because Kaguya is definitely not that kind of person back then. She definitely was not that kind of person back then. So there is de he's the definitely about to get caught right here in a lie. Because you know how the Shinomiyas are. They, they're going to be tracking everything she does. When she's on the phone, when she's on the computer, when she was growing up. Yeah, no. I, I don't know, Mikado. This is, unless there's something a uh, little more to it. I don't know, man. Ha, ha, ha. If you're okay with her, then I got nothing more to say. You can have Kaguya. In fact, if that's all you want, then please take her by all means. Someday when you inherit the Shijo family, I'll lend you our power. Thank you very much. And then it gets ready to tip. Finally, it looks like I can keep my promise to you, princess. I'll free you from the Shinomiya family. Oh, wow. You know what? I do need to see in backstory form a little more, like, more in depth of how we're getting there. Because you're throwing it in, but I need to see, like, the, like how... Because it's one thing, but it's like, I need to... You know what I mean? Like, I need a little... Because if I had that prior to this, then it's like, okay, you know what, Mikado, I, I'll, 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 you know what, he's not as evil as I, I thought he would end up being, but, but I'll free you from the Shinomiya family, okay. So, obviously, because we knew Imaki, knowing Kaguya back then and stuff, we had seen the parts of it and stuff, but Mikado a little bit different. Unless I'm missing a detail or so, it's been some time since I rewrite Kaguya, but... If Mikado and Kaguya actually were to get married and Kaguya were to become a member of the Shijo family, then I can swear to you that we'll protect her from the hands of the Shinomiyas. We can guarantee her safety, but that's only if all else fails. In other words, this is about you and Kaguya. Kaguya will be safe either way. The only thing left to decide is whether her love story with you will have a happy ending. If you're a man, then it's time to show us what you're made of. They still gonna fight for this woman because though no, this, this we know, look, we know how this is gonna work, okay? Mikado's doing this because they're gonna promise him back in the day, which again we need to know a little bit more of how that was to be and stuff, because obviously for you to go that far for somebody. There's got to be more to it. I don't know if I can believe the texting stuff yet because it's one of those things where because of what kind of person Kaguya was back in the day, I don't know if I can see her doing that. But definitely context is going to be needed here. But I, no, no, Miyuki knows what kind of happy ending he wants. Yeah. All right, everyone. Uh, bro, why did you switch up? I was, I was hoping it was going to say something like, uh, don't worry about it. But no, uh, she could damn it. All right, everyone, here's the data sharing app and the, and the comms app we'll be using. Make sure you have both of them installed, okay? If you don't understand how to use them, you better ask You better ask now. I'm a troll. But at least she's getting the, the plan started off, so. Don't let the battery of your wireless earphones get too low. We have two battery packs here, so charge up now if you need to. Wait, you, you get them the, I, the, the AirPods? I mean, she her grandpa had bank, right? So it, it's understandable. It's understandable. I've... I've centralized all... Okay, I was about to say what the hell that word was. I've centralized all the details of our rescue plan in the spreadsheet. I'll take care of organizing any intel to report back any information you get to me. The enemy is a business called Grimit. This will be the hot, the biggest undertaking in the history of the Shuichin Student Council. Keep your wits about you. And it goes right back to, to Mikado. Miyuki, if you can't figure out a way to save her... Then I'll protect her. This is a showdown between me and you, Miyuki. Let's go. Oh my god. Listen, man. Both want to protect, but we know, man. No, Miyuki has to get this done. 
He has to get this W somehow, some way, man. Somehow, some way, he needs to get this W, like, so badly, bro. Leaving into battle with a worthy opponent once again, who will make the first move. So, okay, so let's let's put this in perspective. We're still getting Miyuki versus Mikado, essentially. It's just, the way it's being constructed is far different than what I thought. Because I thought it would be under evil agenda in the form of Mikado. And again, it came down to a little stuff that we got through a series. Again, now Akasaka providing the uh, clarity in re regards to all that. So, because of the connection back then, Mikado knows that Shinobias cannot be trusted. So, in his side, he's going to do what he can to protect her. By taking her in, Shijos will do that. On the other side of it, we still have our plan, which is to get the Ursuk of Unyo taking over after the fact. How we're going to get there with the money involved and all that is still to be seen somewhat. But they're going to be gathering whatever intel they can to prepare for the attack because this is going to be... This is going to be a, a task and a half to try and pull off. And how it's going to get done, we'll see. But it really comes down to, you know, who, whose plan will be the most enticing that will guarantee the future for Kaguya. Because that's the thing. Either plan works out, she's safe. Who makes it happen first? And even though we know that Mikhail's trying to protect... If there is lingering feelings towards her, then it intensifies the situation even more because it is truly a battlefield love by that point in time. Do I want him to win? Hell no, because it's Miyuki season still. But at the very least, if he were to go out on the losing end, at least it's not as an antagonist, but more so like a rival ally kind of thing. You know what I mean? Which I think is better for his character, honestly, because if it was like throwing in a third party, then it would just create more headaches than anything else. So, at least we know the common enemy still is going to be the Shinomiyas. Unless the likes of Makoto Shijo comes into the play and muffles up or wrestles some feathers is a better term to put. But, yeah, no, nah, I, I trust in Miyuki and them. Now, my thing is, you say you're going to wait to see who's going to make the first move. Are we going to dive straight into it? Or is Akasaka going to have like a segue from now? Before we, because really, if we jump into this now, I don't see how you can do any detours in the story and then continue. Like, like right now should be the prime focus. But if you're going to deter away a little bit from what's happening, then I will presume now is the time. Maybe a chapter two, probably for something else. Maybe finish up things with Ishigami and Ino, and then put all your focus into that. That could be the case, and I would hope it will be that because, again, I feel like once we really go into the operation to save Kaga, is the closest we're going to be concluding the story. Like, by the end of this year, I'm going to presume Kaga is going to end. I'd be shocked if we're going to next year and it's still ongoing. So, there's a lot that can still get done before the year wraps up for us because, again, it's just started. But we really don't know what Akasaka is playing with. He might be playing with fire, but we don't know how big the fire is. You know, like what color and everything. It could be a blue flame, a white flame. We don't know. But all I know is that the planning for all this has been really well done in terms of setup. The execution is going to be key. And I do want to still see a little bit more of, like, if we get Mikado and Kaguya and stuff. I'm going to go back and reread parts of the manga, like, during those phases and see if there's something I've been missing, if anything. But if not, then I definitely do need that in the story. But... Overall, I think this was a very good chapter in terms of the final setup stuff, which is now going to be a showdown of rivalry between the likes of Miyuki and Mikado, basically to find out who is going to be the one that saves Kaguya from the clutches of Oko. Is it going to be the likes of Miyuki? He gets his happy ending, or is it going to be Mikado? Either way, we know for a fact, by the end of this, hopefully, Kaguya will be saved. How so? We'll find out. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below regarding this week's chapter of Kaguya-sama. Let me know how you guys are feeling about how this all has been formulated. Like, in regards to Mikado, if you, of course, there's definitely been people in the comments been saying, like, you know, you should give him a chance, whatever. How do you feel that Akasaka handled all this in regards to his character? Like, now do you see him more so as, like, an ally slash rival in the sense of what's going on? Like, I don't know if we can see 
antagonistic energy from him unless something were to flip afterwards and then have a reason to go against him. But how do you feel about how that was set up? And in regards to the things with Oko and them, do you think they're that blind about what Mikado was saying about the whole, like, the texting thing and all that? Like, because you would think, they, they keep track of, you know, everyone in the family and all that. And no one will we know Kage from back then. Do you think that maybe they're starting to think, like, okay, we can't fully trust them, but they're putting on a facade for him and stuff? You know, let me know about that in the comments. And if there's anything else that I didn't talk about too much in the chapter, you want to clarify down as well. And anything from before in the manga that was key to this that I might not have talked about, let me know down in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be part of the weekly experience when it comes to my coverage of Kage, it's my week in, week out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell to stay to stay up to date with everything that goes on the channel. With that being said, I will catch you guys next week. We definitely are going to be getting a chapter. We'll see who makes the first move. But I wouldn't be surprised if we segue to something else maybe. But if not, if we are going to dive into it, then we really are getting into the last bits of the story. So if that has to be the case, Aka Akasaka, continue to cook because we're here to eat. Commodore Les signing off. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care. Going crazy, yeah, we going crazy. Yeah, yeah, we go.